Hello, Slicey Dicers. This is Brian with an unboxing video for you today and one that I know you guys are waiting on. This is the Gareth Bow Production Shamuari. Before we go any farther, I am going to talk after I show you the knife about the launch. A lot of people are really, really upset about it. Um, you know, myself included, even though I managed to get one. Um, my knickers shall never become untwisted about it. So uh, we will talk about that uh, at the end of this. But first of all, let's talk about the knife because I am really excited to get my hands on the knife. So let's fire her open here. Just got it. This is a genuine unboxing. So just going to be first impressions. And honestly, my plans are to uh, do this unboxing. And this is, I'll try and give a pretty extensive first impressions. And then that's probably the last I'm going to do about it until there are more in stock, which I do hear there is going to be another run of them. So um, hopefully everybody who missed out on the previous run, which again, we will talk about more later. Uh, hopefully uh, you, everybody else will have a, a better time getting them this time around. So camera went all purple on us there for a minute. It'll clear up, don't worry. It always does. I don't know why it does that. There we go, with the white boxes. So, here it is. Big Gareth Bull logo. So the Shamwari is very, very difficult to get. They make only a handful of them a year. You have to go like a lotto process and all this stuff. Um, this one is made by Wii. That's why it's often called the Shamwiri. They even call it that themselves, which is good, pretty clever, I gotta admit. It's only available in this one colorway. I have handled a genuine Gareth Bull in this exact same size. This is the three inch. That's the one that I had. So this is just Wee's version of his production knife and it's supposed to stay pretty true to that. So you can see the centering is perfect and all that. Looks great. This is probably kind of the configuration I get anyway because I'm a boring human. But uh, yeah, nice titanium mill pocket clip. Does feel very Wee-ish which you'd expect because they made it. It is a front flipper and the action is pretty darn good. One thing I noticed in the pictures, um, I'm sure they could have made that logo bigger, but uh, it, it probably would have uh, taken a lot of science, but uh, no, the action's pretty good though. Oh yeah, that's very good. That is excellent. I have to say that is pretty good. Uh, unfortunately, my scale is broken, so... Um, I can't give you the weight at the moment, but I'm actually leaving as soon as I'm done with this. And one of the things I'm going to buy is another scale. But um, yeah, I got one blue standoff. I didn't know it had the blue on it there too. That's cool. I don't mind that. If you're going to put a pop of color on it, blue is always a good choice. Most people like blue. It is, it is just as drop shutty as a real one, I do have to say. It doesn't feel quite the same. It doesn't have that exact same like glassy smoothness that a custom one does but it's just as drop shutty. If you're measuring speed of the drop of the blade, it's it's pretty similar. It just doesn't have that uh, that exact same feel. Very good lockup. No problems there. Yeah, this is really this is a really nice knife. They are uh, they were uh, 280. It was 283, I think, with shipping and all that stuff. Um, it, it, we'll talk about it more in the at the end. Uh, yeah, if you're going to eBay right now, uh, there are a lot more than that. Don't do that. Don't don't spend the prices. Everybody's asking for them on eBay. Um, first impressions is it is a two hundred eighty three dollar knife uh, all day long, but it is it is not a five or six hundred dollar knife like they're already going for on eBay and stuff. Ergos are really good. No hot spot from the pocket clip. Feels just like a regular Shimori in the hand feels exactly the same as you expect. It's exactly the same design. It's got that usual kind of polished -y, bead blasty sort of finish uh, that a lot of Wii's have, which I do like a lot. Somebody said it's vapor blasted, I guess is what they call it. But um, let's just do a, a few measurements here. Bring out the calipers again. I'm very sorry that my, uh, that my scale is not working. The only other one I have is a very large one that needs to be plugged in. So um, if somebody wants to put the weight down below of this, I would appreciate that because that is one stat that I just can't get. Check the blade thickness on it. 0.12. As near as not matters that anyway. And 0.43 on the handle thickness. So it's obviously going to carry very well. Do that thickness behind the edge, which is such a pain in the butt. 
uh, I did, I was smart enough to put my uh, reading glasses on so I can tell that I'm hitting the right spot. It's a wee, so you know it's going to be thin. Yeah, it looks like about 16 and a half. Not too bad at all. It is 20 CV steel, if you can read that on there. The usual tiny hidden wee uh, marks on there. It is full titanium, they just, it's just got a coating on it. I am really liking the action on it. It is very good. Like I said, it's different than a real uh, custom chamois, right? but can't call it, can't stop saying like real, like this isn't real. This is real. It's a Gareth Bull knife. It's not even a, a Wii model. It is a Gareth Bull production chamois. So it is a real Gareth Bull. Yeah, not bad at all. But I do really like the knife. Uh, it, it is, it is great. It is exactly what I thought it would be. Like I said, it doesn't have exactly that same glassy feel, just as drop shutty is a, is a real shamori, but it doesn't have that same glassy feel uh, that the regular one does. But it is definitely a $283 knife. But yeah, they're going for five or 600 on the secondary already. And the reason why is uh, the launch was a pretty significant cluster and I do understand why people are upset so I don't want to harp on it it's just going to be in this video once there's more in stock or there are more coming I will do a full a full real review of this and I won't mention the launch thing but I have to because a lot of people like uh, Eugene Kwan got his uh, very quickly because they did a little test launch like on a Friday um, his shipped out with that group, so he got it more quickly. And when he posted it on Instagram, great channel by the way, follow Eugene Kwan. Um, they just people just jumped on about how dare you even review this after this launch? It's so terrible what they did, and we should all pretend that they don't exist. Well, no, that's just silly. Um, it, we have to because I replied kind of defending him, and I was like, for all of you that say uh, we shouldn't we shouldn't review this knife, we should pretend it, do, pretend it doesn't exist because the launch was awful. Uh, there's a hundred saying that they want to see a review of it. So that's just silly. But what happened? Why everyone is upset? You know, they did a little test launch, like on a Friday night. Went well. They sold like 20 of them. Let them out. There's only 500 of these in the first run, by the way. Um, first problem, they probably should have done more. Like it's, I know it's finances involved and whatnot, but <clears throat> Gareth Bulls are really hard to get. <clears throat> Excuse me. In the, in the uh, custom versions, kind of thought when I saw they did 500, I'm like, man, that's not going to be enough. That, that's going to be a nightmare. Uh, and it, and it was, and then on Saturday, they tried to do it. Site immediately crashed. Nobody got anything. It was very frustrating. Uh, they did respond very quickly. Gareth Bull did respond very quickly and said, we are, cause we're all sitting here hitting refresh, you know, trying to get them. Cause the, it was mostly on Instagram that they announced, you know, the launch of it. So we're all there hitting refresh, 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 refresh. Gareth Bull to his credit after about 30 minutes said, Guys, stop hitting refresh. You, you don't need to. The site's busted. We got to figure this out. We'll reapproach it some other time. Uh, the time they chose to reapproach it was Memorial Day, Monday, and um, and with about uh, an hour's notice, half an hour's notice, or an hour's notice, very short notice. It's like, okay, we're gonna try again. And I was like, oh, man, I'm trying to do stuff with my family. Okay, so I get on. Same thing happens again. You could get it in your cart, but you couldn't pay for it. And it was just, it was a nightmare. He puts up a message again saying, sorry guys, it, it broke again. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna figure it out. We'll get back to you. This took after about an hour of sitting there hitting refresh. I'm already annoyed because I'm trying to spend time with my family. And then I go down, I start making dinner. And luckily one of you nice people DM'd me and said, oh, they're not they are doing it today. They, they're, it's working now. You can go get one now. So the reason why, and I did, I immediately ran back upstairs where I had the page open, hit pay, you know, did the payment thing. You have to do a little trick for the payment thing too, because if you had, if your computer auto filled your address, there was no like pay button at the end. You had to go to the end of your email address and hit enter, but my computer automatically fills all that in. So I knew I had all the spots filled and I'm like why is there no pay button until somebody finally said oh no you got to do this little trick where you enter it was just a not an easy purchase process I never would have gotten one if somebody didn't dm me and tell me because I went on about my day because Gareth Bull said go on about your day so a lot of people did and they didn't get them they didn't get a chance to because of 
it, it, because they just all of a sudden, oh, the site's working. He didn't post a new Instagram message or anything. He just edited the one that he said to go on about your day. It wasn't cool. I understand why people are upset. Uh, Gareth Bull is not used to dealing with these volumes. I mean, he normally makes, what is it, 20, 40 knives a year. It's, it's not a lot. So uh, dealing with 500, I understand. Uh, but that was the saying, we're not doing it, and then just letting it happen afterwards. I understand why people are upset. I, I really do. Um, and yeah, I, I wasted, but a, a grand total of, uh, probably well, I didn't waste cause I got one, but probably about an hour and 45 minutes spread over two days. One of those days being a holiday. Um, that was, uh, it was, it was pretty frustrating. It was definitely pretty frustrating. So I'm not going to minimize people's frustrations, but it does not take away the fact that this is a really good knife. And for that price, it is fine. But like I've said multiple times, don't go on the secondary on eBay. I looked up on eBay earlier today and I saw, I saw like one for 500, one for 600, and I'm sure those people are going to sell them, but th this is a, a production knife. It's, yes, it's going to be in small batches, but it, every indication is they're going to be back again. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong about that, but I still don't think, even if they're never coming back again, this is not a $600 knife. It's very nice, but it's not a $600 knife, guys. Even if they ne do never come back, and I'm wrong, I'm pretty certain they are going to come back again, but even if I'm wrong... Uh, yeah, it's a it's a really nice two hundred eighty dollar knife. It is not a six hundred dollar knife, uh, and it doesn't pretend to be. That's why they don't charge that for it. It is extremely well made. I do really like it. I'm looking forward to actually using it and not just doing a little first impressions video here. But yeah, this is the three inch. I did kind of skip over the stats part, didn't I? So I'm going to slide this off the side where I can see it. So you have a yeah blade length of dead on three inches, overall length about seven inches. Uh, I don't know what the weight it is on it. It's very light. I can tell you that, but, um, yeah, don't, don't spend 600 bucks on one of these. Just don't. And yeah, I'm annoyed about the launch too, even though I got one. So to those of you who didn't, uh, sorry about that. Sorry to ramble on about it so long, but I just know that's what the comments are all going to be about. Cause I saw what Eugene went through on Instagram. I'm about to post a picture of this on Instagram before I head out and run some errands. And I'm sure I'm going to get the same comments he did, but, uh, yeah, it, it can't be ignored, but it is, uh, the launch was not fun. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this and hope you guys get one the next time around. Don't overpay for one in the secondary. Just don't do it. Don't feed the beast. I've been Brian. Have a good one.